Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhone Captain, and today we're going to be doing the top 10 free tweaks for February 28th. This is the last day of February. Hope you had a good month. Uh, the last 10 we're going to do this month. The first one we're going to share with you is called Discreet. And you can get this free, guys. They're all free in the primary repo, so you won't have any problems finding them. They're either going to be in Big Boss or Mod My Eye. The first one is called Discreet. And what it does, it allows you to check your pending notifications by assigning an activator to uh, your device. And I have simply added the hold the, the uh, sleep button down and triple press of the home button. I hope you can hear this vibrate. I'm going to be very quiet when I do this. There's, there was the holding the sleep button. Now let's do the triple press of the home. And hopefully you heard that one as well. And what that does, guys, it allows you to, if you've gotten an email or a message or something, and you have your phone in your pocket, you can simply just slide your hand down in your pocket and triple press the home button or long press the sleep button to get a vibration if you have something. If you don't get a vibration, you haven't received any new messages or any pending notifications, I should say. And that's an awesome way to check and see what's going on with your phone without actually taking it out. That's called discreet. The next one we're going to be looking at is called V Color. And the color allows you to change the color of your volume HUD. And you see this one here is sort of a cayenne looking color right now. And we can change that very easily by going into the settings here and going down to V color. And you have several options. You see background is cayenne. Well, let's put it on green to green. And we'll put the depletion bar to black. And we'll put the volume number to red. Make this stand out. And the meter uh, white should stand out good. And when we hold this up now and hold it down, you see everything's changed. The background's green. Everything is just like it's supposed to be. The meter is white. So that's a free one, guys. If that's something you think you'd like, it's called V Color. The next one is called Un red now this one may be a little hard for me to show you because i don't want to give away any of my emails or anything like that my personal things i should say so i'm going to try to do it all we have to do is just long hold and you see when i touch that up here whenever i touch that long hold uh the little blue bubble the little blue dot goes away if i hold it down again it comes back that said, that means that the message has been read. Now when I bring it back, the little blue dot that shows one unread message. So that's called unread. So if you if that's you want a different way to show your messages being read and unread, then check it out. The next one we're going to talk about is called No Grabber. And what this does, it allows you to customize which applications and so forth that you want to have the grabber showing. So let's go up to no grabber and you get a white list here. Instead of a black list, they got a white list. The white list means they do show the grabbers. White means good, go. So if you put check marks beside of YouTube here, you see when I open my YouTube app, the grabbers are going to be showing. And let me show you, let everything open up. And when he pull down right there, you see I get the little grabber up there at the top. Same thing at the bottom. If you if you try to swipe up, sorry about that. You see I get the little the little mm -hmm, grabber for the control center. It's a little harder to do right there. You see it. And, you know, if you want to pull it down, you just simply just swipe again and it'll and it'll fall right down. 
but that's what it does and if you want to turn those off you can just simply open up here and go into YouTube and uncheck that and now those little grabbers will be gone so if that's something that's getting in your way when you're playing a certain game or something like that that's what this would be good for uh, you see the the grabbers are gone now they're nowhere near the screen and they're just they just vanish it takes them away that's called no grabber the next one is probably going to be a little hard to see because you have to get the battery power down below 20 percent before this actually will show but it's called power banners and what it does i can open it up here in Cydia and show you what it does is it lets you get notifications when your battery falls below 20 percent right here uh, you see this it, it changes the power alerts into unobtrusive notification banners such as the warning for low battery effects found from low battery power uh, which does not work on iOS 7 as of 2 25 2014 they're going to implement that tweak into this tweak so if that's a tweak you enjoy it on iOS 6, you might want to just install this one and you will get it. But as you can see here, I can't blow that up either. Um, you get this little pop-up, it's not a pop-up, this little banner notification up here at the top that simply says low battery, 20% remaining. So that's pretty much all that does. Rather than getting the one across the middle of the screen, you know it says low battery, uh, you get the one at the top like a regular notification. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys, this one is called Facebook Messenger Unrestrictor. It allows you to add as many photos, send as many photos as you want to using Facebook Messenger. And if you don't have this installed, uh, I just tried it right then, and you can only send six photos at a time. And you see, I get this little pop-up here. You can only add six photos at a time. Okay, by using that Facebook unrestrictor, messenger unrestrictor tweak, I just sent 11 photos in one email right then you see right there they are there's three six nine ten eleven in one email pretty awesome huh and that's called Facebook messenger unrestrictor FB messenger unrestrictor it's free in the mod my eye the next one we're going to do is called Active Alarms, and I have it set to triple press on the home button. And when I do that, it opens the clock out directly to the alarms. So if you use the alarms a whole lot to activate or deactivate them, here's almost an instant way to get to them. You just triple press or set up any activator you want. You know, there's many many different ones whatever you want that's your choice and it'll take you straight into the alarms and you don't have to tap on it or unlock it or well you have to unlock your device but you don't have to tap on the clock app and, and sift through all that the next one is called next vibrate and what this does which i thought it was pretty neat if you're listening to a song with your earphones on it will actually vibrate when the song changes or when you change the song so if you have paused it and you don't know whether you have click the next button then this will allow you to know what you've done here let's let me read this what they've written it's a simple tweak that helps by vibrating when you switch to the next track using the headset double tap feature. And then it says this can be particularly useful when your device is in your pocket 
and you're not sure if you paused your music or switched to the next track. So this will actually vibrate when it goes to the next track. That way you know that it's not paused and you don't have to take your phone out of your pocket for no reason. You can just double click the headset button and you know where you are. Okay guys, this one's called iDictionary and what it does, it allows you to search any word you want to find the definition for. Say we're in Safari, we're on my website here and I've chosen a word. So let's go up here and select it. Now we're going to tap define and you see I get two separate definitions that comes up. The top one here, status you see is in the new Oxford American Dictionary and this one here is in the Spanish Dictionary. And I really can't read Spanish. I just chose that Spanish one to show you how it does. But it supports, I think it said 57 different dictionaries. We'll look here just in a minute. But look at all the different dictionaries right here we have. Now, let's go back out. Let me show you where you what you, got, you can do with this tweet, guys. Uh, we'll look and see what it says, how many dictionaries it was. Here it is, I dictionary. And you have... 17 different languages and it supports 56 dictionaries and 17 languages so that's pretty pretty awesome all you have to do is just choose the word that you want to actually know the definition of like i just did in safari here okay guys the last one we're going to look at today is called color your board free and we did the paid version of this the full version today we're going to look at the free version you see we get this new icon on our springboard here called Color Your Board. It's a standalone application, this tweak is, guys. And here you get a little preview window. You can slide these sliders. It says the freeze version, you can only use the bottom colors. So if you want to mix and match the colors with the sliders up here, you're going to have to actually update to the full version. So you're going to actually only be able to use this here. So let's go with the pink and tap save and tap get it. And now when we're going to go into the notes app to pull up the key, the keyboard. And you see that to me, guys, it's just like it was the other day. The colors on this just don't look nothing like it should. Uh, let's try this and see if this helps and see if we can get a better color. And it did help. So maybe that's, you know, what I should have been doing all along. You need to restart the, I don't know if I hit help starting the notes app again, probably is the one I needed to restart. And now you get that pink down at the bottom, it looks a whole lot better. That was one of my biggest complaints. The colors wasn't looking that well. And they still could use a little work, but this looks a lot better than they were. Color your app, guys. That's been 10 free tweaks for this week. We'll do the 10 tweaks on each Friday. Uh, most times, sometimes we might do the top 10 paid. Sometimes we may do both. Just depends on what comes out that week. So the best thing to do is just stay subscribed. If you're not, hit that subscribe button before you leave. Share this on Facebook and Twitter to help support us. It really helps us out a big, big bunch. And keep coming back.